Today I want to start working on the cart. So what we need is a page to display it. Let's head into the text editor. The first thing that we're going to need is a controller so that we can have a route. I'm going to put it in a cart folder because we're going to have two controllers to handle the cart. And we'll just make it resourceful. We're not going to attach a model to it. Okay, let's go ahead, drop that down, and then let's go and make a route. We can just copy this, put it right here, and this one we're just going to call it cart. And then we'll just say route, get, we'll call it cart. And instead of this, uh, let's go ahead and close that up a little bit. We'll add some brackets. We'll say cart controller class. And then the function we're going to use is index. Then we're going to give it a name and we'll just call it cart index. Okay, let's make sure that that's been imported up top and it is. So let's go ahead to it. Okay, let's head down to the index function. And then in here, we're just going to say turn inertia render. And then for now, all we need to do is display the page. Actually, I don't even need these brackets just yet. I'll say cart index, and that'll be the name of the cart page. So let's go down and create that page. Okay, so in here, we're going to create a cart folder and then our index.view. We'll add a template. And underneath, we'll add some script tags. Actually, keep forgetting. Export. Default. Define component. Still getting used to this. <laughs> and this, we just need this to be from view. And the only thing that we really need to bring in right now is the layout. And then we just need to define the component here. So it's app layout. So let's go ahead and bring in the app layout. And then we can go ahead and also add the title which will be cart. Let's go ahead and check this out. From here, we can just, until we get a link, we'll just say, we'll just type it in. Cart, our title is up here, and we have our page. In here, we're going to have a div, and I'm just going to paste in some classes. And then we are going to have two divs with the class of flex1. And in the first flex1, we're going to have another div, and then I'll paste some classes in here as well. Then we're going to have a P tag with the classes of text red 600, text 2XL, and font semi bold. Then here we're just going to say your part is empty. Then we can copy this one, paste it, and then here we're going to put, we'll just hard code it for now, but we'll say five items in cart and then under this last p tag we're going to have a link and the link for this will be href and the route will be shop index and the classes we're going to have on here are underline and for hover we'll do text red 700 and then we'll also give it a transition here we'll just say continue shopping and let's shrink this and keep in mind this is going to look messy until we get the cart imported into our project so we need a div and i'm just going to paste in some classes and in here we're going to have two divs the first one is going to have a class of width one third here we'll just say item then for the other div we'll have class flex justify between and the width on this one will just be one half let's open this one up because we are going to put two spans in here 
and each are going to have the class of Lex 1. I was supposed to do 2, but that's fine. Okay, this one will be text center, and then the text will just say quantity. This one will have text right, and then this one will just be price. Now let's shrink this one up, and we're going to have another div. In this div will be another div. I'll paste the classes in, and then here we'll have two divs. First one will have a class of flex, space x4, and width one half. And we can do this class as well, which will be flex, justify center, or sorry, justify between and width one half. In this first div, we're going to have a link, and we're also going to have another div. This link isn't going to actually go anywhere just yet. We'll just put a hashtag, and then here we'll put an image tag, and then this one we'll just fake it for now. So we'll say storage, and what's a good picture to show? We'll do something from site image. So I think it's handcraft JPG. And then the alt will just leave blank for now. But the class on this, we're going to say it's object cover. Now we're done with that link. This div under it is going to have some classes on it. Here we're going to have another link. And you know what? Let me make sure that we bring that in. And so now in here, we're going to have an href, again, not going anywhere, and we'll have some classes on it. And then if we open it up, we will have two spans. And this one, we'll just put some random text. Same thing for this one. So now under the link, we'll have a div with a class of flex, flex call, mt4. And here we're going to have two forms. And one will be to remove, and one will be to move to cart. They're not going to have any functions on them yet. I'll do it like this button type equals submit. And then we'll add some classes to it hover text yellow 500. Now we can copy it. So this one will just say remove, and then this one will say save or later. Let's start shrinking these down a little bit, and now we can work on this div right here. So let me drop this one too, open this one up, and here we're going to do a div with some classes on it. And then we're going to have a select, which we don't need the ID and the name, but we need some classes. We're also going to give it a tab index. We will eventually need a V model and a function on it, but we're not going to do that just yet. Here we can just do an option. For now, the value will just put one, and in here we'll just put one, just so that we can get something to display. And then under this div, we just need a span. And then I'm just going to put temporarily $5.99 each. Okay, so now let's shrink this one down, and underneath it we're going to have another div, and I'm going to paste some classes in, and then we're going to have two p tags. This one will just say, you have saved no items for later, and this one is just going to say, five items saved for later. And now what we can do is we can copy from here and then we'll just adjust it accordingly. And we'll put that under the same set of divs. Let's go ahead and go through that. Item, quantity, price, that's all the same. 
This one can now be moved to cart. Everything else should pretty much be the same. Let's go ahead and we'll handle this uh, other flex one in a second. Let's go to the browser and check this out for now. It's starting to look like something. Cart is empty, five items in cart. You have no items saved for later. And I can drop this last one, which will be right here. Cool. So let's start tackling this next flex one. And here we're going to have a div with some classes. And then we are going to have another div. I'll just paste in the classes for these. In this div, we're going to have two divs. First one is going to have a class of flex and a class of space x4. We'll have two span tags. This one will have a class of x plate, and then it'll just say order total before x and discount. This one's going to have a class of text yellow 500. And here we'll just fake a price or dollars. In the second div, we will have another button. And we'll just add some classes to this. I just need to add a text small. We're going to extract this button as well, but we'll do that in a bit. So here we can just say secure checkout. Make that a little bit more friendly so we can find it. Let's go ahead and shrink this up a little bit so that we can see it better. Under this flex flex call, I have another div. And this one is just going to have a BG gray of 300 PX4 BY6. This div is going to have another div. And then we're going to have a span with the class of PX4. Here we'll just say order summary and then we are going to have another div and in here we're going to have two spans this one is just going to say items subtotal and we'll just fake a number in here for now and then here we'll just fake a price 14.99 Let's go ahead and just copy this one. We can take out the BG white. And we can also take out the PY2. And then here we'll just say shipping. And here we'll just say free. Yes, we're offering free shipping. And then we can just copy this one again. And then the span will say discount code. And we'll just put ABC123. And then here we're going to need a form. No action. We'll have a span. We'll do dash and we'll say minus two dollars. Under the span, we'll have a button. Type will equal submit and the classes be text red 600 and ML2. And uh, for here, we'll just put capital X. Doesn't need to be fancy. Let's just go ahead, copy this one. It's going to go right under here. This one is just going to say estimated tax. And then here we'll just say, I think my tax is 8.48%. I can't remember, but it's a fake number. It doesn't matter. Paste it again. This is going to have EG white. And then uh, we need to add a PY2. And then here we'll have div with the classes of flex and justify. Queen. This one will say order total. And for this price, again, $4.99. Copy this. This is going to be a flex call. This will be 8.48% tax rate. Here we'll just put forum. We can shrink this one down. Under here we'll have another div. Text center mt4 and we need a button this one is going to say secure check out need the classes from that other button let's copy the whole thing 
and then I'm just going to bring this down, copy this and put it under here. And don't worry about it. I'm going to push all the code up to GitHub so that you guys can see the classes and stuff. So here we can now do href equals. This one is going to be the shop index, which we already have. So that's fine. We're going to throw some classes on it. And here we'll just say continue shopping. Okay, why don't we go to the browser and see what we have? So that looks a lot better. And we also have something for the discount code, but I'm going to wait until we get to that point. So now what I want to do is extract some of these duplicates. These buttons, uh, we're going to make these into components. I actually want to take this whole section here and pull it into its own component. So let's start with the easy thing first, and that's the button. We already have a button component. We can just copy that one and then change up the colors. We'll duplicate it. This one we'll just call yellow button. And then we'll change up the colors. I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in here. And now back to this page where we have it, we'll start with the top one first. Here we're going to put yellow button. Let's see if it auto imported. And it did not. So here we can say import yellow button from at components buttons yellow button. Yellow button. Okay, so this yellow button, we don't have a place to send it to yet. So we'll just give it a hash. And then on this one, we need to do as href because we're going to be using it as a link. Uh, and the only class that we need to add on here that's not in the component is the text small. Okay, so now in here, we'll say here, check out. Okay, so now we can go ahead and get rid of this. We'll copy this one and then we'll find the next yellow button or actually secure go down to the next one and it's right here paste that in make sure we didn't break that our button's exactly the same fantastic so now what we want to do is pull this out into its own component let's start closing some of these up the component that we're going to make it's going to be called uh, I'll just use this one and duplicate it. But this one is going to be called order totals. We're going to take all this stuff out. Where we want to grab this from is that flex one. So right in here, let's just get rid of that. Paste it here and bring in that component. Okay, so one thing that we do need in here for sure is, well, two things. We have the link, but we also need that button now. And that means that now we can take that out of here, take it out of here. And let's see if we broke anything. Doesn't look like we did, but something I'm noticing is that we're not getting our images. Let's go ahead and restart the server and see if that clears that up. Drop that down, head back. Okay, no, and it doesn't even look like we're getting a broken image. Let's go see what's up. Ah, oh, okay, that could be why. Okay, let's try it again. Still nothing. Let's open up our inspect tools and see what's going on.
Oh, I know what it is. I forgot the colon here. There we go. We have our images. Fantastic. And don't worry about it. This stuff is going to be displayed conditionally, so the it won't look as janky as it does now. We'll be sure to fix that once we get the card in. If you guys are enjoying the content, please go ahead and click that like button as it really does help the channel. I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm going to push all this code up to GitHub and leave a link for that down in the description, as well as the link for the playlist so that you guys can catch up on all of the aspects of this e-commerce project that we're putting in for Laravel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.